Hello from Doris Visit. Time to explore another port. Since Amsterdam has started charging room tax for cruise ships, the ships now dock in Rotterdam and do excursions to Amsterdam. Rotterdam was completely flattened during World War II and now has been totally built up to a thriving metropolis, completely different to Amsterdam. Let's go and have a look. Within the port building, there is a desk where you can pick up a map. This will be helpful if you choose to explore by yourself, which is fairly easy. Rotterdam is full of rivers and canals, which inevitably means waiting while a bridge lifts. A boat passes through and traffic can then move again. Bridge down, another bridge, and we're nearly there. The shuttle bus will drop you right by the Market Hall and this statue. It was commissioned in 2002 in honour of Martin Tonda for his 90th birthday and it shows four fantastic figures. Nicknamed the Sistine Chapel of Rotterdam because of its impressive ceiling, the 11,000 square metres of artwork was designed by Arno Koenen. We're in the Market Hall and be sure whichever trip you decide to take in Rotterdam, they will always bring you here. Tell you where they won't take you. Now we're just going on a special trip in the window cleaners gantry. No, we're not. The hall is full of atmosphere. There are a large variety of restaurants serving food and drink for different nationalities. Not just a market, 228 apartments have windows looking down onto the market hall. Because it's full of as many tourists as it is shoppers, you'll find a number of novelty stalls and tapas bars. If you catch the metro, the station to get out at is Vlark and it will bring you out at the Cube Houses and the Market Hall. The Cube Houses are one of the most iconic attractions in Rotterdam. Designed by Dutch architect Piet Blom, they tilt over at an angle of 45 degrees and only a third of the space inside the Cube is inhabitable. This really is only a one bedroom department, and this is the lounge. This is the shower, about as big as on the cruise ship. This is the bedroom, one room that wraps all the way around. This is the kitchen. While we were in the Cube House Museum, about 50 people came through in 10 minutes. That's about a thousand euros an hour. Sounds like it might be worth buying one of those Cube Houses. Rot means mud and a means water. And this whole area was flooded with muddy water in 1150. It wasn't rebuilt again until 1260 when they started to construct the dams and this grey pavement is put down to show where the waterway once was. Lawrence Kirk is easy to find, it's just behind the market. Lawrence Kirk is a restored Gothic building and there are guided tower climbs between April and October. There are also monuments inside to naval heroes. These are the main features of Rotterdam, all situated around Blak Tube Station or where the shuttle bus drops you off. 